Thank you for choosing VideoPad from NCH Software. This tutorial will show you how to edit your video clips into a movie you can be proud of. Adding video clips, music, and photos is all done the same way. Just click the Add Media button on the top toolbar, then browse to the file you want to add, select it, and click Open. The file will be added to the media list in VideoPad. Think of the media list as the launching pad for all your original files. From here, you can drag and drop clips and audio to the video or audio tracks, or preview them in the Clip Preview window. From the Clip Preview window, you can add clips to the sequence by clicking the green down arrow. You may want to use only portions of your video clips. In order to cut a file down to size, before adding it to the main sequence, you're going to set in and out points for the clip. To do this, select the clip from the media list to make it appear in the clip preview window. Then, set the cursor to where the beginning of the clip should start and click the red flag to set the in point. Drag the cursor to where the clip should end and click the blue flag to set the out point. To add the adjusted clip to the sequence, click the green arrow. Setting in and out points is just one way to edit the length of a clip. You can also do it from the sequence by using the split tool. Splitting a clip is also the easiest way to keep separate portions of the same clip. First, you'll need to make sure the clip you want to edit is already on the sequence. Then, line up the cursor to where you want to make the cut and click the split button. This splits the clip into two sections. You can move the new sections around independently of each other or delete one completely. Split a clip as many times as you want. To speed up or slow down a clip, select the clip on the sequence and right-click on it. From the context menu that appears, select the Adjust Playback Speed option. You can adjust the speed with the slider. Anything below 100 will slow down the clip. Anything above 100 will speed it up. You can also choose to play the clip backwards. Click OK to apply the speed setting to the clip. You can set transitions between clips on the sequence to segue between scenes. Click the Transitions button on the upper right corner of a clip on the sequence, then choose one of the transition types, and if you want, change the transition's duration. Click OK to apply. Click the green star located at the beginning of a clip on the sequence to bring up the Effects window. From the Effects window, you can apply a color filter, Adjust the brightness settings, crop and rotate the clip, add text or a watermark, or apply a video plugin effect to the video. Use the effect preview window and the effects list to manage the look of your clip before applying your changes. Click OK to apply. When you add an effect to a clip, the effect is applied to the entire duration of that clip. To control the duration of an effect, Try splitting the clip first and applying the effect to one part of the clip, and adding a crossfade between the split clips for a seamless effect transition. You can add text to a clip by either adding it as an effect to a selected clip, or work with text independently of the clips using the Subtitles Manager. For subtitles, click the Subtitles button and select the Create a Subtitle option. By inserting a blank clip in your sequence, you can create an opening title screen, credits at the end, or use blank clips in the middle to create breaks between scenes. Click the triangle next to the Insert Blank button and choose the color for your blank clip. Then, choose where the blank clip should appear in your sequence and click OK. Once your blank clip is on the sequence, select it to adjust the duration in the Clip Preview window. Open the Text tab on the Effects window to add text to the blank clip. When you add a video clip to the sequence, its audio appears in the audio track just below it. Use the panel to the left of the audio to control the volume, or to add effects to the sound. To adjust the volume of two audio clips on the same soundtrack independently of each other, 
right click on a clip and select adjust clip volume. Sometimes it is useful to unlink the audio from the video so that you can edit it separately from the video. To unlink the audio, right click the audio and choose the first option, unlink sound clips. Doing this will move the unlinked audio to its own soundtrack where you will be able to split the audio, control its volume independently of other audio, or move it to another location. VideoPad provides you with an unlimited number of soundtracks. As with video, you can split audio clips for quick editing using the split tool. Apply effects from the effects chain to optimize your sound. For example, use the high pass filter to add clarity to muddy audio. Fully control your audio using the clip preview window. From the clip preview window, you can set in and out points and fade points. You can record a narration to go along with your video. Click the Narrate button on the toolbar. This brings up a window containing all the clips you have edited up to this point so that you can time your narration along with the video. Before you record, make sure VideoPad has the correct microphone selected in the Capture From list. Also, give your narration a name so you'll recognize the audio file later. To begin recording, click the Record button. If you make a mistake, you can click stop, reposition the cursor, and start again. When you're finished, click done, and your narration will be added to the media list. Remember, you can also edit narrations on the sequence if needed. VideoPad includes a full sound effect library you can use while editing your movies. You can add background music or add noises that accompany the action in your video. Find the sound effect library by right-clicking on any of the soundtracks, then click on the option that appears, Add Sound from NCH Sound Effects Library. From the Sound Effects window, you can preview any sound, then click Download to acquire the sound and add it to your VideoPad media list. When you're finished with your editing session, you'll have two options. If you still have work to do on the video, you can save your project and all the file paths it contains. Do this by clicking on the File menu and select Save Project File As. Choose a location to save your project in and click Save. Your project will be saved as a video pad file with the extension VPJ. This file isn't a movie file you can play, just a collection of all the work you've done up to this point. When you're ready to save your completed movie, click the Save Movie button in the toolbar. The Video Output Setup window that appears gives you several options for saving your finalized movie. Start by selecting how you want to save your movie. For example, if you want to burn a DVD, select the Disk option. If you want to upload your video to YouTube, select the YouTube option. Then select the appropriate save options associated with that format and click OK to save, burn, or upload your movie. Thanks again for choosing VideoPad from NCH Software.